The current era of Ducati bikes are renowned for their top speed, and manufacturers like Yamaha are sometimes ridiculed for not being able to keep up. Peko Banyaya has been one of the chief beneficiaries of Ducati's top speed advantage in recent years, but he isn't too excited about more top speed. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, Peko Banyaya prefers less top speed. Peko tested a new fairing on Monday during the test. He later revealed a few details about it during a media debrief. The fairing worked quite well. I'm quite happy with it, but it's just to test for now. I don't know if we will see it this year or not. It can help us not to lose too much handling but have more top speed, so something that could help. He however quickly added that he isn't too enthusiastic about more top speed. But we can also think that this year I'm preferring to have less top speed but more handling. That is the main thing now. Yamaha is the perfect example of that. He signed off by pointing out all the strengths of the Yamaha M1 in the hands of Fabio Quattararo. In this moment, they, Yamaha and Quattararo, have more handling and we can also see clearly that the top speed is not everything. This year we have improved a lot, but we still need more edge grip like Yamaha has, so we are working on it. Fast feed. Defending world champion Fabio Quattararo confirmed that from his side of the box they will not use the aero package that was taken to Mugello again. We will always ride with our standard with the four wings. Basically, the goal of the new fairing was to be faster on the straight and we gained 1k, but we lost a lot in the turns, so we decided to go back. Ducati's Jack Miller confirmed that their new fairing has its positives and negatives. The current fairing turns better, it catches less wind, whereas the new bigger fairing is like in between last year's fairing and this year's fairing. You don't catch as much wind on your body, but you sacrifice maybe a little bit in the corner. RNF Yamaha's Darren Binder explained that coming from Moto3, he knew it was going to be complicated. I still surprised a lot of people with a good start to their career in MotoGP, but then it seems I hit a wall that was giving me some problems. I still need time, but I feel like I'm improving with each race and learning more. We're always learning because every race is different. Honda team manager Alberto Puig revealed that the doctors will assess Mark's situation every two to three weeks or so. The priority now is bone healing and avoiding any major complications. Should Ducati refocus their efforts on improving handling instead of top speed? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.